how wonderful is the living world the wide range of living types is amazing the extraordinary habitats in which we find living organism be it cold mountains deciduous forests oceans fresh water lakes deserts or hot springs leave us speechless the beauty of a galloping horse of the migrating bird the valley of flowers of the attacking sharks evokes awe and deep sense of wonder the ecological conflict and cooperation among members of a population and among populations of a community or even the molecular traffic inside a cell make us deeply reflect on what ended is life this question has two implicit questions within it the first is a technical one and seeks answer to what living is as opposed to the non living and the second is a philosophical one and seeks answer to what the purpose of life is as scientists we shall not attempt answering the second question we will try to reflect on what is living diversity in the living world if you look around you you will see a large variety of living organism be it potted plants insects birds your pets or other animals and plants there are also several organisms that you cannot see with your naked eye but they are all around you if you were to increase the area that you make observations in the range and variety of organism that you see would increase obviously if you were to visit a dense forest you would probably see a much greater number and kinds of living organism in it each different kind of plant animal or organism that you see represents a species the number of species that are known and described range between 1.7 to 1.8 million this refers to biodiversity or to the number and and types of organism present on earth we should remember here that as we explore new areas and even old worlds new organisms are continuously being identified as stated earlier there are millions of plants and animals in the world we know the plants and animals in our own area by their local names these local names would vary from place to place even within a country probably you would recognize the confusion that would be created if we did not find ways and means to talk to each other to refer to organism we are talking about hence there is a need to understand a uh, standardize the naming of living organisms such that a particular organism is known by the same name all over the world this process is called nomenclature obviously nomenclature or naming is only possible when the organism is described correctly and we know to what organism the name is attached to this is identification in order to facilitate the study the number of scientists have established procedure to assign a scientific name to each known organism this is acceptable to biologists all over the world for plant scientific names are based on agreed principle and criteria which are provided in international code for botanical nomenclature you may ask how are animals named animal taxonomists have evolved international code of zoological nomenclature iczn the scientific name ensure that each organism has only one name description of any organism should enable the people in any part of the world to arrive at the same name they also ensure that such a name has not u- not, not been used by any other known organism biologists follow universally accepted principle to provide scientific names to known organism each name has two component the generic name and the specific epithet this system of providing a name with two components is called binomial nomenclature this naming system given by carolus linnaeus is being practiced by biologists all over the world this naming this naming system use a two word format was found convenient let us take the example of mango to understand the way of providing scientific names better the scientific name of mango is written as magnifera indica let us see how it is a bino- binomial name in this name magnifera represent the genus while the indica is a particular species or a specific epithet other universal rules of nomenclature are as follows biological names are generally in latin and written in italics they are latinized or derived from latin irrespective of their origin the first word in biological name represent the genus while the second component denote the specific epithet both the words in biological name when hand written are separately underlined or printed in italics to indicate the latin origin the first word denoting the genus starts with a capital letter while the specific epithet starts with a small letter it can be illustrated with the example of magnifera indica name of the author appears after the specific epithet at the end of the biological name and is written in abbreviated form magnifera indica lin it indicate that this species was first described by linnaeus since it is nearly impossible to study all the living organism it is necessary to devise some means to make this possible this process is classification classification is the process by which anything is grouped into convenient category based on some easily observable characters for example we easily recognize groups such as plants or animals or dogs or cats or insect this moment we use any of these terms we associate certain characters with the organism in that group what image do you see when you think of a dog obviously each of 
each one of us will see dogs and not cats now if you are to think of elastians we know what we are talking about similarly suppose we were to see mammals you would of course think of animals with external ears and body hair likewise in a plants if you try to talk of wheat the picture in in each of our minds will be of wheat plant not of rice or any other plants hence all these dogs cats mammals wheat rice plants animals are convenient categories we use to study organism the scientific term for these categories is taxa hence here you must recognize that taxa can indicate categories at very different levels plant also form taxa wheat is also a taxa similarly animals mammal dog are all taxa but you know that a dog is a mammal and mammals are animal therefore animal mammal and dog represent taxa at different levels hence based on characters all living organism can be classified into different taxa this process of classification is taxonomy external and internal structure along with the structure of cell development process and ecological information of organism are essential and form the basis of modern taxonomic studies hence characterization identification classification and nomenclature are the process that are basic to taxonomy taxonomy is not something new human beings have always been un- interested in knowing more and more about the various kinds of organism particularly with the reference to their own use in early days human beings needed to find sources for their basic needs of food clothing and shelter hence earliest classification were based on the uses of various organism human beings were since long not only interested in knowing more about different kind of organism and the diversities but also the relationship among, among them this branch of study was referred to as system the word systematics is derived from the latin word systema which means systematic arrangement of organism linnaeus used systema nature as the title of his publication the scope of systematic was later enlarged to include identification nomenclature and classification systematic takes into account evolutionary relationships between organism taxonomic categories Cat- classification is not a single step but involves hierarchy of steps in, in which each step represents a rank or category since the category is part of overall taxonomic arrangement it is called taxonomic category and categories together constitute the taxonomic hierarchy each category referred to as a unit of classification in fact represents a rank and is commonly termed as taxon plural taxa taxonomic categories and hierarchy can be illustrated by an example insect represent a group of organism sharing common features like three pair of jointed leg it means insects are recognizable concrete objects which can be classified and thus were given a rank or category can you name other or such organi- such group of organism remember group represents category category further denotes rank each rank or taxon in fact represent a unit of classification these taxonomic groups categories are distinct biological entities and not merely morphological aggregates taxonomic studies of all known organism have led to the development of common categories such as kingdom phylum or division for plants class order family genus and species all organism including those in the plant and animal kingdoms have species as the lowest category now the question you may ask is how to place an organism in various categories the basic requirement is the knowledge of characters of an individual or a group of organism this helps in identifying similarities and dissimilarities among the individual of the same kind of organism as well as other kind of organism exam uh, species taxonomic studies consider a group of individual organism with fundamental similarities as a species one should be able to distinguish one species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences let us consider magnifera indica solanum tuberosum potato and panthera leo lion all the three names indica tuberosum and leo represent this specific epithets while the first word magnifera solanum and panthera are genera and represent another higher level of taxon or category each genus may have one or more than one specific epithet represent different organism but having morphological similarities for example panthera has another specific epithet called tigris and sonalum includes species like nigrum and and melongina human beings belong to species sapiens which is grouped in the genus homo the scientific name this for human being is written as homo sapiens genus genus comprises a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera we can say that genera are aggregates of closely related species for example potato and brinjal are two different species but both belong to genus solanum lion panthera leon leopard panthera padus and tiger panthera tigris with several common features are all all species of the genus panthera the genus differs from other genus felis which include cats family the next category family has a group of related genera with still less number of similarities as compared to genus and species families are characterized on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive features of plant species among plants for example three different genera solanum petunia and the tura are placed in the family solanaceae among animal for example genus panthera comprising lion tiger leopard is put along with genus 
Felis cats in the family Felidae. Similarly, if you observe the features of cat and dog, you will find some similarities and some differences as well. They are separated into two different families, Felidae and Canidae, respectively. Order: You have been, you have seen earlier the category like species, genus, and families are based on number of similar character. Generally, order and other higher taxonomic categories are identified based on aggregates of characters. Order being a higher category is the assemblies of families with which exhibit a few similar character. The similar character are less in number as compared to different genera, include a family. Plant family like con Convolvulaceae, Solanaceae are included in the order Polymoniales, mainly based on the floral characters. The animal order Carnivora include family like Felidae and Canidae. Class The category includes related orders, for example, order Primata comprising monkey, gorilla, and gibbon is placed in class Mammalia. Along with order Carnivora that includes animals like tiger, cat, dog. Class Mammalia has other orders also. Phylum Cla Class compromising animal like fishes, amphibian, reptile, birds along with mammal constitute the next higher category called phylum. All these based on the common feature like the presence of notochord and dorsal hollow neural system are included in phylum chordata. In some case of plants, class with a few similar characters are assigned to a higher category called division. Kingdom All animals belonging to various phyla are assigned to the highest category called kingdom. Animalia in the classification system of animal, the kingdom planty on the other hand is distinct and compromises all plants from various divisions. Henceforth, we will refer to these two groups as animal and plant kingdom. The taxonomic categories from species to kingdom have been shown in ascending order starting with species in figure 1.1. These are broad categories, however, taxonomists have also developed subcategories in this hierarchy to facilitate more sound and scientific placement of various taxa. Look at the hierarchy in figure 1.1. Can you recall the basis of arrangement? Say for example, as we go higher from a species to kingdom, the number of common characteristics goes on decreasing. Lower the taxa, more are characteristic than the members within the taxon share. Higher the category, greater is the difficulty of determining the relationship to other taxa at the same level. Hence, the problem of classification becomes more complex. Table 1.1 indicates the taxonomic categories to which some common organism like housefly, man, mango and wheat belong. Table 1.1 Organism with their taxonomic categories Common name Man Biological name Homo sapiens Genus Homo Family Fomonidae Order Primata Class Mammalia Phylum Division Chordata Housefly Biological name Musca Domestica Genus Musca Family Mascidae Order Diptera Class Insecta Phylum Division Arthropoda Common name Mango Biological name Magnifera indica, genus Magnifera, family Anacardaceae, order Sapindales, class Dicotyledonae, phylum division Angiosperm, common name Wheat, biological name Triticum stevium, genus Triticum, family Poaceae, order Poels, class Monocotyledonae, phylum division Angiosperm. Summary The living world is rich in variety. Millions of plants and animals have been identified and described but a large number still remains unknown. The very range of organism in terms of size, color, habitat, physiological and morphological features make us seek the defining characteristics of living organism. In order to facilitate the study of kind and diversity of organism, biologists have evolved certain rules and principles for identification, nomenclature and classification of organism. The branch of knowledge dealing with these aspects is referred to as taxonomy. The taxonomic studies of various species of plants and animals are useful in agriculture, forestry, industry and in general for knowing our bioresources and their diversity. The basics of taxonomy like identification, naming and classification of organism are universally evolved under international codes. Based on the resemblance and distinct differences, each organism is identif identified and assigned a correct scientific biological name compromising two words as per the binomial system of nomenclature. An organism represents occupies a place or position in the system of classification. There are many categories, ranks and are generally referred to as taxonomic categories or taxa. All the categories constitute a taxonomic hierarchy.